Hello there and welcome back you lovely lot. Today we have a under the sea design for you using these acrylic powders along with these gems. 3D piece and glitters and the soft shards that you can see in the bottom right corner there. Now we're going to start on the pointer finger and I come in with a mix that I did myself using two parts clear and half a part of pale blue and I mixed this because I wanted a wash like a see-through wash like a sheer really sheer shade for the bottom of the ocean that's what I'm trying to accomplish here I'm trying to get depth of the ocean into a couple of these nails so that'll be the pointer and the pixie finger so here I use a dark blue and I will pat that out and merge that into the wash that's underneath. I will then go in with um, jade and I use pale blue and I use a shimmer turquoise colour from Ink London called Hepburn. So I come in with all these shades. When I'm happy with that and I've patted those out and I get like a sea sort of wave-ish <laughs> look, I will then come in with white and I will thread that through and again pat that out now the technique i'm using is the what the one that you would use if you were doing like a rose quartz nail so it's the layering technique where you just add tiny little beads pat it out layering it up all the time trying to get that depth when i'm happy with what i have there i will then use these small gold nail charms i have the shells and the oh starfish in this design that's what i've used i have separated them from the silver and will be using just the gold pieces today and then i will put a small tad bit of acrylic on the nail and add the mermaid glitter piece in there as well So I nudge that into place and once I'm happy with the location on where that is in the nail, I then will go in with the premium soft shards from Sonia Williams Glitters. If there's any sheerness in the nail where that wash has not been quite covered with any of the coloured acrylic that I put on um, and I feel it needs a little bit more colour, I will come in with small beads of colour and actually fill that in using all, all the colours that I've used today. Hepburn, Grant, Jade. Um, I don't think I used the darker blue. I can't remember what that's called. I'm sorry. I will list everything below for you. But uh, yeah. So once I'm happy with that and everything's in place, I will check all the way around the nail because these have quite a deep C curve in these nail tips. So once I'm happy with that, I will actually cap this in Clarity, which is the clear acrylic from diamond nail supplies now exciting stuff i have a code for you if anybody wishes to purchase anything from diamond nail supplies use the code tray 10 i will pop that below for you along with their website link please go ahead and uh, have a look and see what they've got now i don't actually make anything from this this is purely for you guys and um, she's got some new glitters coming out as well as a core line and they have some gorgeous shimmers running through them. So go and check them out, see what you think. Personally, you can just see from the way I'm using this here, you apply that acrylic and it doesn't move, it just waits. It waits for me to do whatever I want to do with it. I'm really liking this at the moment. Like I said, it is the first time I've used it, but so far, so good. Now. Moving on to the ring finger, we're going to do a nail bed. So I will pop that core powder on there and I will put my brush at a 90 degree angle. No, it's not 90 degrees, it's 45. 45 degree angle and I will blend that back section of that bead first. I do that first and then I use the belly of my brush and I 
pull, push that bead out to the left, out to the right. Then I work on the shape with the tip of my brush. As you can see, I use the belly of my brush and I'm just pushing that to bead into place so it goes out to the sides where I can then tuck it in and shape that smile line. I then come in with a cuticle bead, tuck that in at the cuticle as neat as possible and feather the rest of that bead down over that smile line, blending it in, and making sure that my wall stays nice and neat. Now, once I'm happy with that, I put the pinching tools on that pointer finger and leave that to do its thing while we work on to the thumb bar. And here we are going to put down, oh, what's this one? Hepburn, I think it is. I'm trying to think, yeah, I'm sure it's Hepburn I used. It's the one with the shimmer in it from Ink London. I'll put that underneath because we're going to go in with Airy, which is the colour shift. Um, chunky glitter from Sonia Williams. Now this colour shifts between blue and green and it is gorgeous. So I'm going to work in small beads, nudge that around and get full coverage. I have put that wash underneath just in case but we're gonna we're gonna give this coverage. So I will I'll go in with the acrylic teeny tiny bead dip it into that glitter and put that on and nudge that around now while that's still wet i will use my wet brush to go into the glitter to bring some uh, more of those pieces and uh, fill in any gaps that i find so this is what you see me doing here on the thumb this is me with the wet bead uh, wet brush rather and just popping that on the nail now I've tried something different guys with my flexi uh, hand because I found some tips now they're full tips in a square and I must have I must have brought them for the for the flexi hand because I wouldn't use them usually as a rule but when I put them in and push them back they disappeared like they went like right down down the the back of the nail I was like what am I going to do if if I pull them out to the front then it doesn't stay in place when I actually try and work on the nail you know it whittles and moves around so what I thought was okay we'll see if we can utilize these tips we'll put them on and then add a tip on it so I had some long square tips from nail tech supplies and they have the most gorgeous C curve in it. So I have attached that to the tip, pushed it right into the flexi hand, blended it in with the file. So they are fully blended. And what we'll do is use the pinching tool to make sure that the nails stay slim and in shape. So what you see me doing here is just making sure that that glitter is nice and flat that there's no bulk, there's certainly nothing sticking out. Then what we're going to do is go onto the middle finger and watch Trey make a big hash mess. That's right, you heard right. I'm using, <laughs> I'm using um, the Glitter Planet aqua brush size 10 and it seems so much bigger than my ink london a10 brush that i use normally so i picked up this white acrylic and the bead was massive and far too much monomer in my brush and here you see me like trying to just clean it up once it's cleaned up then I mould that acrylic onto that nail, trying to keep that shape and trying to keep it nice and um, slim, really. You know, I don't want any chunky, chunky. It is a core powder, so uh, I can do the 
apex and everything with it. However, like I said, it was just it just ran away from me and I had to take control. There was a bit of a moment of panic there, like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? But it's okay, Trey sorted it, she's done. <sighs> anyway, once I cleared that mess up, moving on. Uh what did we do then? We capped the fumba. So here I am going in with clarity, pop it on look, nothing. Sits and it waits. Lovely. So I pat and press that into place, cover that nail, and then once I'm happy with that, we will then move on. And once that's at the correct stage, I will add the pinching tool to that. Now the little finger is going to be exactly the same as the pointer finger, so I go in with that wishy-washy blue that I made and then I go in alternatively with all the colours to get that depth and that C type look. Now while you're watching me do this, I would just like to take this opportunity to welcome all my new subscribers and say thank you so much for hitting that button. I really hope you enjoy these videos that I'm putting out for you and if you have any special requests just give me a shout and a comment below. Now these nails today were inspired um, by, well inspired is probably the wrong word to be honest, because I did this set a couple of weeks back on my daughter's friend and I got asked a couple of times if I'd done a video. Now I did mention that I was going to do this set and that I would do a video. But I only have a small desk and by the time I've got my camera and all my setup on the desk I don't have room for clients, you know, I don't really do clients. So it's really difficult to film um, real people whereas the flexi hand it's just a little hand on the desk isn't it? And whereas a real person you know it's I have to have the hand rest and yeah and the camera goes up and over the desk and it takes up half of it and it's just it's a bit difficult guys I, I, I am sorry so I never actually filmed that set so when I got asked if I'd actually done this type oh look at me chasing the flipping charms around oh there's always one in there it's always me <laughs> anyway so uh, so yeah I am doing this set um I did it what did I do I posted it on Instagram that's where I did and then I got a couple of messages so I thought I would recreate it and add some um little bits to it okay so I'm just nudging this into place I'm making sure that that isn't too near the free edge there and that we still are enough away that we can cap it and that it isn't going to get uh, in the way when I file. Now, last but not, not least, we're going to do the ring finger and we're going to marble around here. Now, I come in with alternate small beads of acrylic in all the colours that I'm using today. I'm sorry if you can hear that yawning. I'm obviously boring my daughter. What can I say? She sat here yawning her head off. It's not her fault, bless her. We've... Um, one of the puppies we've just had done so uh, she's not managing too brilliantly bless her she's uh she's howling of an evening at night so uh, we're tending to be the kept away going down to her sorting her out um she'll be all right she'll be fine right okay back to the nails let's have a look so yes i go in with small beads alternate between jade hepburn grant um and marble around this um smile and i have been in and i have filed that i did that off camera now when i've finished with the marble i will go in and i will cap this in clarity and then off screen i will file buff and shape the nails ready for the nail art.
So just finishing that off and then that's filed and buffed off camera. And then here we have the Born Pretty inks that we'll be using today in blue and green. The details are listed below. Now, you can do this in two different ways that I'm aware of. I don't know if there's any more, but what I've seen via YouTube, there's two different ways. So you can put the colours that you want onto the nail and then go in with a small art brush using isopropyl alcohol and, um, you know, put a little bit onto the nail. It will disperse through the ink and it will give you lots of various shades um, on the nail art. Or you can do what I'm doing here. So what I'm doing is I put the green on, then I put the blue on and I let that dry. Then I go in again and I put another layer on and I do this three times and I build up those shades. Now this is the art brush that I'm using, it's just an old one. So I'm putting isopropyl alcohol on there and it disperses through that ink. Now because there's layers, so there's green, blue, green, blue, what it does is it starts to disperse the inks away. And at the side, you will get a build-up of colour, which comes through as like a line. Or it completely, if it goes through enough, it completely takes out the ink colour and you'll see the white acrylic underneath. So this is what you see me doing. I'm just going in now look, with that brush and I'm getting different shades of blue and green because I've layered it up. I'm just going around the edges here where all that line tends to have accumulated where I've put the isopropyl alcohol on it's just pushed the inks to the edge of the nail causing that to to like line then I go in with this blue on top of the white and again go back in with the isopropyl alcohol and I keep doing this dispersing those inks around that nail until I get the sort of shading and nail art that I'm happy with Once I've done that, I am then going to stamp this Beauty Big Bang XL002 plate and I'm using the mermaid scales there on this nail. Now, unfortunately, I think what I've done is clean the plate, clean the stamp and move the hand out of the way. And when I come to do the top of the nail, it's completely out of shot. So I do apologise, guys, for that. Right, okay, so once I'm happy with that, so I've stamped the thumber, I've got nail ink art on the middle finger, and that's all dry. So now I'm going to go in with Premier Gel, High Shine, No Wipe, Top Coat, and I put this on all the nails. Now, once I've actually zapped that in the lamp for a full cure, that will be the end of this nail design. So that's it guys. So I'd like to thank you all for watching today. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you would. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. So until next time, thanks for tuning in. Bye.